This is my Minecraft prison. And it's also my first one. First, let's start with the visiting process. To start, you'll need Discord and you have to get the warden on, of course. To do that, you're gonna head over to the right of the spawn area and like kind of spam this lever thing. What it does is set off a bell on the inside of the prison and alert the guard. When the guard is ready, they'll flip a lever from inside that will light up this lamp and then you can head inside the prison. Ah, another one. Here to visit? Yeah, that's what I thought. That's the only reason why we're here. Alright, you see on your right a little, um, like, uh, kind of vault looking thing? Uh, go ahead, head inside and, like, put your stuff in it. Yeah, there you go. Go ahead, head in. Here, the visitor can put in all their items. It is weatherproof, so is the front entrance. Alright, but go ahead and head inside that little room in there. Yeah, yeah, you see it? Go ahead. Go ahead, head in. Uh, that'll be our kill check area. Alright, so... Uh, yeah, go ahead like, set your spawn point and stuff. This is where the visitors set their spawn point. That will then head into his chamber where they'll be killed by potions. After they spawn the other side and set their spawn point here, they will have to go through the next kill check. Which, basically, they will stand here and the guard will activate a trap that will set off these pistons where under there is lava and TNT will spawn, as you can see right here. Go ahead, uh, walk down this hallway. Yeah, yeah, go ahead. Um, we're just gonna, we're gonna get ready for the next kill check, bud. And then we'll be set sailing towards the, the prisoner. Alright, come on, hurry up. I ain't got all day. Come on, my paycheck doesn't do this. Come on, there you go. All right, here's our last kill check. So I just gotta go in and basically just murder you. Here you go. Yeah, no, don't move. Don't move. Yeah, good boy. Stay there. Now they'll spawn on the other side and then get fire resistance so that they can walk down a long, pointless hallway to the uh, stasis chamber area. Da 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 da. Da 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 Hurry up! Ba da 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 I should have cut this down in the editing. Ba da 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 Yeah, the flip the lever to let them in. And now we're in the stasis area. Here, by pressing this button, the main guard and the first guard will be set off. As you can see, there you go. Yeah, um, the other guards can only be set off, their uh, stasis chamber can only be set off via lockdown caused by wither attacks or stuff like that. Now, this is where it kind of gets all funky and stuff. The visitor has to walk down this hallway if they're coming to visit, but the prisoner has to go down the other hallway. Here, the, uh, the visitor just has to set their spawn point here, get killed, and then they'll respawn the other side towards the visiting platform. This is the main cell. Uh, more on that later. For the prisoner, they just have to do this one simple thing. Walk through this door, which is heavily guarded uh, with a quick little keypad system. If you're going to break into the prison, uh, make sure you don't use a key card because the entire point of it is so that you don't know it. Um, but yeah, all you have to do is press the button, put the key card in and stuff. And then as you can see, it took me three times and you could take it out right there. If you're trying to head out, then just press the button. Like, come on, man. What do you want me to say? Now, you have to walk down this hallway. Here, the main guard will be escorting you. Remember that if you're trying to escape. Here, the main guard will give you a uh, ender pearl so that you could glitch through the roof into the main guard area. This is it. Do not mess with anything because the main guard is escorting you and he's literally two blocks behind you. Fall down that hole and you'll be uh, like basically downstairs again where you were just at. Now, the guard will give you another ender pearl so that you could go through this roof onto the bed respawn area or atop the cell. Over here, all the prisoner has to do, do is go around to the back of the bed respawn point and then set their spawn point there and get killed by the guard, as you can see here.
This is the quick one second you have inside the bed respawn point until you're inside the cell. Now, this is the main cell area. Not much to it except there's lava under you and there isn't much anywhere that you can really go without the need of blocks, which you don't have. The visiting platform is at a point uh, so far away that you can't reach it. Um, as you can see right here. So against the wall, that is the visiting platform. And as you see, it's like seven, six blocks apart and you cannot reach blocks to it unless you build out, of course. Really items rather. So that's the that's just the visiting platform. There isn't uh, much more to do. Um, then over here, this is the guard uh, platform thing that they could walk out through the main guard area. Now here, this is um, basically the visitor once in, the bell will ring and the light will light up. So that could basically tell them that. There's also another guard room that could tell you that. Also here, you could put on some armor by clicking this button. It also gives you some other useful items like tools and stuff and also gapples, items like that. And uh, in these chests are shields, bows, and crossbows, and key cards for the little key card system. As you see, there's a ton of them. There's also inner pearls and those special arrows. Over here, this is just some milk. You know, that's you, you'll need it for the guardians. Um, and that's basically it for the guard room. Here's a platform uh, where if they throw an inner pearl, they can easily go to your island. Remember that if you're trying to escape. The main guard will be watching you basically the entire time. They can also use a compost glitch. They can also click that button that will dispense food onto their platform. I forgot to mention, in the front of the prison is the secondary guard room. This is where the first or second or third or fourth guard will be when the visitors are trying to come in. There's basic stuff here, not too much. That is mostly it for my Minecraft prison. If you have any questions or concerns, you can email me or DM me on Discord. You can find the link to a Discord down below, by the way, and my email at the about page of this channel. Uh, if you would like to download the prison, it will be linked in the description as well. While you're down there, make sure to click the subscribe button. I like to thank anyone, everyone who's helped me um, motivate me in this prison. And I forgot to mention the prison builders of this, which is myself. Also, the person who tested this is a friend of mine who doesn't have a YouTube channel, but their name is on screen. Their Minecraft username, that is. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. Uh, if you want any feedback on the uh, decor of the outside of the prison, make sure to tell me it, because this is absolute garbage. Um, anyway, I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye.